Our next guest is going from pitch perfect to pooch perfect. Yes. Actress <laughs> Rebel Wilson. <laughs> yeah, she's hosting the new dog grooming competition series. Yes, pooch perfect, spotlighting the country's top dog groomers to see who's really best in show. Rebel, oh. good morning. How are you? Well, 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 good morning, guys. <laughs> sending you so much love. I'm in London right now for another movie, so. So I'm sending you so much love. We can feel that love all the way over. So it's good to see you. Uh, and we're going to start, we're going to talk about Pooch Perfect, but we have to talk about your journey you've been on. You talked about taking care of yourself, your health, and something you want to do. You've been open about it. You lost 60 pounds, I believe, as well. Tell us, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, now the challenge is to keep it off. I've never successfully in my life. Um, I've, I've lost a bit of weight here and there, but never kept it off. But I guess uh, last year I set myself a mission. 2020 was the year of health and I kind of overhauled my whole lifestyle and for the first time in my life really prioritized health. And so from the nutrition, from the exercising to working on my emotional eating, which anybody who knows me knows is my real vice, like seeing all the Easter eggs out there. Right now, I'm like, oh, um, it's it's crazy. <laughs> it's driving me crazy, but um, yeah, I'm I'm loving I'm loving it, and I'm I'm really proud of myself for being being able in such a difficult year to um, to do a whole life transformation. Good for you. That's a good feeling when you're proud of yourself mm -hmm. like that. And we're proud of the work that you continue continue to do. As you say, you're across the pond because you're already on a project. Pooch Perfect back here on this side of the pond. People are going to be seeing that soon. And I, my understanding is that you come from a family of professional dog showers. So does this okay, hit close well, to home? Yeah, so, so most people probably won't know this about me, but uh, dogs have been such an important part of my life. So I'm a fourth generation dog shower. Um, started um, with my great grandmother bringing beagles into Australia and they bred beagles as well. And so my whole childhood from birth to about 12 years old was going to dog shows pretty much every single weekend wow. and how my family made money. Um, we had a little yellow caravan and we travel around to all the different shows um, and sell the dog grooming products for the dog showers. And, and that's how my family survived and, and made money. So dogs are just a huge part of my life. And also uh, my first introduction into the entertainment industry because our dogs were did commercials and had an agent um, and how I got to see my first ever musical is because one of our dogs auditioned for the musical 42nd Street. <laughs> uh, didn't get the role because it like, liked to poop on the stage. But I got to go and see my very first, first musical because of the wow. dog. So wow. I have a lot to thank them for. Wow, <laughs> dogs with agents and everything. Okay, so this role is perfect for you, but you have said that American uh, dog groomers are more eccentric than Australian ones. Uh, what's the most over-the-top dog look that you witnessed on the show? What these groomers can do, because like they're such dog lovers and their creative skills are amazing. And so this dog that you're seeing right now, this is a challenge that was called Holly Dogs, which is where you had to turn your dog into your favorite holiday. So um, these contestants, Alyssa and Justin, um, chose Halloween. And it, I, you can't even see how, how amazing it is in those photos. It lights up. It's got this little black cat that moved on the back of it. <laughs> it's just like it's such an incredible inventive design. And, I mean, I would, I would want to parade that dog down the street on Halloween trick-or-treating. Like that would, <laughs> you know, maybe I wouldn't be so single if I did that. <laughs> uh, get a little attention. Uh, but our groomers are so fantastic and so creative. So I really can't wait. Every week there's different challenges and I really can't wait. That's the Christmas dog that you see there. Um, and that one's New Year's Eve. And you just like, it's it's insane what these groomers can do to a dog. Mm. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't snip, snip that. Uh, but speaking of these groomers, we hear that you helped out with a proposal of some sort. Oh, okay. This is, well, we have the same um, showrunner who used to do The Bachelor and Bachelorette, like some of my favourite shows. And who would have thought in a competitive dog grooming competition there'll be a proposal? But there is, and it was a huge surprise, and I got to be part of it. And I'm not used to, like, television proposals, and I had to lure the young lady mm. out. And um, I think my acting was too good because I terrified her. 
<laughs> I had to make up an excuse and didn't tell her, oh, you're going to get proposed to, just come on out. It'll be great. And so I just kind of had to make a drama up. And I think my my acting was too good and I freaked her out a bit <laughs> too much. But this, honestly, this show, I know it's all about dogs, but the characters, mm. um, uh, the contestants, they're so interesting and um, there's so much emotion in the show that that was so unexpected and so so gorgeous and beautiful. So I can't wait. I can't wait for everyone to see what happens. It really um, it will will surprise you, entertain you, and also make you cry. Aww. We are looking forward to it. I, I do want to mention, though, Bridesmaids, of course, a movie that you're in, celebrating the 10-year anniversary. And I understand that there was a fun experience that happened uh, behind the scenes. Tell us about it. Okay, so what a lot of people don't know is before we started filming the movie as cast bonding, Kristen Wiig took all of the female cast out to a strip club called Hollywood Men. And... It was hilarious. It was the most hilarious wild night. She organized a party bus and and then she bought me a tank top from the um, like strip club, I guess. Um, and it was way too tight. But like, I don't want to complain. Like, I was so happy to be be involved in the group. I was like the most junior cast member I felt because that was my very first job in America. And so we just we just tore up the the strip club and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, a lot of the girls had a lot of sexy lap dances that night. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I, I think we should leave it at that. Yep. I think we'll just we'll <laughs> leave it to our imagination. But we adore you. We are so happy for you. And we cannot wait for Pooch Perfect. Rebel, as always. Well, thanks, Robin, okay. my fellow Bella. Oh, yes, uh, we yes, thank you. We, we were in Pitch Perfect together. I didn't, I didn't want to mention it or anything like that, but so glad that you did. But that was a wonderful uh, time. I was a legacy. I was a Bella legacy. Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, I love real. Such a great cast, too, yeah. on, on Pitch Perfect. Pooch Perfect premieres tomorrow night, 8 Eastern, 7 Central, right here on ABC. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.